Hi, this week we're going to talk about how you can get ready to buy prospects at your seminar. And it's actually quite simple. The premise of it is this, there are five simple steps to making sure that you have a lot of people at your event who are ready to buy, who are genuinely interested in what you have to offer. Uh, but it really starts with this premise. You want to start a relationship as early as possible with your prospect. And there are five ways to do that. The first thing you want to do is as soon as you get the registration, if you are using a service as Plum does, where you're going to be able to get an email notification as soon as someone registers, as soon as you get that email notification that someone has registered for your seminar, you want to immediately call them. And if you have a staff of people, of course, you can have someone from your office do this for you. So you want to immediately call them. And all you're going to say is, thank you very much. Just want to let you know we got your reservation from our reservation system. Uh, thank you very much for doing that. You'll be receiving uh, some follow-up from us and just wanted to thank you for that. You will have the opportunity to ask them for any additional information that maybe the representative didn't collect. For example, their email address or pieces of their address. Um, you'll be able to ask them qualification questions in that immediate phone call. So for example, if you're really looking for a certain targeted type of prospect, this is your opportunity to ask them, hey, do you have a 401k? Do you have an IRA? What types of retirement accounts do you have? And for those of you who say, oh, I'm nervous about asking that, this is your opportunity to qualify your prospect. You're paying for a meal for them, you're providing them with valuable information, so why not go ahead and ask that? The second thing you want to do is a check-in call. Now depending on when you're sending out your invitations, you want them to arrive at least a couple of weeks before your first uh, seminar date, and some of our agents are actually sending out invitations prior to that, but you want to have enough time where you can have that immediate phone call, but also you can do a check-in call. Now on the check-in call, all you want to do is basically think of a reason to contact them. Maybe it's you're going to ask them about uh, their spouse who they mentioned on the previous phone call. Maybe it's you're going to ask them about, hey, did, you mentioned your spouse is coming with you. Does he have an email address that I can send this to as well? Okay, great. Looking forward to seeing you there. Again, this is a second opportunity for you to just establish a little bit of a relationship, a little bit of a rapport with them. The object of all of these things is so that when someone walks in that room, they already feel like they know you. And you know as well as we do that when someone feels like they know you, they like you, they trust you, they're far more willing and able to do business with you. All right, number three is confirmation email and directions. Fantastic things. So you have your immediate phone call. Great, thank you so much for registering. Verify any information. You have your check-in call, and then you want to send a confirmation email that just says thank you so much for your registration. Below is the information about the event and where you should arrive. If you've got any information about parking, if there's anything special you need to let them know about uh, arriving, arriving early for registrations, this is your opportunity to do that. And it's a very professional way. Most people are carrying their phones on them nowadays, so they'll be able to have that right at their fingertips. The fourth thing you want to do is, if you have time, you want to send a confirmation letter and what I would call a wow factor. So essentially, again, it's going to be the same thing in writing, but it just comes across very uh, sort of formal, um, and most people don't take the time to send anything anymore. So that's a great opportunity for you to send a little letter, introduce yourself, let them know that you're looking forward to seeing them at the event, and then include some kind of wow factor. Maybe that's a brochure that you have, maybe it's um, a valuable um, booklet that you can offer to somebody, and certainly you can talk with a marketing expert about some ideas around that. And then finally, you want to do a confirmation call. Confirmation calls are very important and if you or your staff can make them again it's just going to help those folks have a better relationship with you and wind up having a room full of people who are ready to buy from you mm -hmm.